And um, yeah, finally we got a concert on April 30th. I got a whole band, I got performers, we got vendors, we got it all. So we're gonna be having some fun out there. So I hope y'all pop out for real. Sure. And talk to me, man, like just about your upcoming project, right? You know, it's the fact that, you know, you, you've mentioned this plenty of times, like everybody has their superpower. Yeah. And you have a story, you have a testimony, you had a dream that you had to go through to have that superpower built to you. Talk about your upcoming, you know, your upbringing, my fault, in Houston and moving to DC yeah. and how that's all attributed to like, you know, your journey and how that's kind of like, you know, portrayed itself into this upcoming album. Well, it really put a lot, yeah, it really influenced a lot because growing up in Houston, it was very beautiful. It was, it was very, um, it was just a very beautiful experience. It had, it had a lot of ups and downs. It had a lot of trials and tribulations, I won't lie, you know, um, grew up with my mom and uh, she had a boyfriend and we didn't get along all too well at the early stages, but we're good now. And that just shows a testament to God, to like how God works. But we don't need to get into that part because you know, that's a miracle in itself. But growing up, grew up with my sister as well. She came up seven years after me and um, came to middle school and that's when it just got hectic in school for me. It was just a lot going on and I couldn't really focus on anything in class. So the boy had to come up to Maryland in order to get some good schooling in Maryland, which had like one of the best private schools in the area. So we went there and we was bouncing around everywhere, man. I'd have been to school in Florida, I'd have been to school in Texas, I'd have been to school in Maryland, I'd have been to school in Pennsylvania, I'd have been to school in Virginia. So we bounced about quite a few, quite a few times in quite a few schools and uh, eventually, you know, God just blessed, you know what I mean? Like eventually I was at a school, it was a private school, boarding, all boys, and it was a hundred kids and I was doing cross country. I had been doing cross country for 12 years and then I finally got into a school that was one of the top schools in Maryland, which my aunt was in Maryland and I was living there as well. But it just happened to be a school in Maryland that was one of the top schools running track wise. And I got on the team without running track at all. And so the album is just supposed to just speak on the fact of like being able to be something that I didn't think I would ever be, being able to make the music that I was trying to do since I was a young kid, because I've been writing all my life. I've been making music all my life, just writing it down. And then eventually I was able to, um, I was able to finally just get into that habit of making the music, curating it and uh, putting it out. And so the album really dispels the story of how I came from public school and it was a struggle for me. And then I got into private school and it was also a struggle for me. But the only thing that pulled me through the trials and tribulations was God. And I had mm -hmm. to realize that. Yeah. The biggest thing, like, you know, just when listening to that whole story, uh, as opposed to me, was faith. Yeah. A lot of these things, like, you know, that you lived through, you couldn't really see it at the time. Yeah. A lot of things, I'm, I'm sure, correct me if I'm wrong, was uncertain. I just kind of walking. You know? Yeah. So talk about like you know how you feel like faith plays into your life, uh, not only just with like you know day to day things, but like even in your music, you know, mm -hmm. especially as it pertains to this upcoming album because you're talking about your walk and your journey with God. You know, kind of talk to me about like you know how faith you know plays that role in your life for real. Faith is big. Yeah. I don't know nothing. <laughs> like, when I tell you, I, I be moving on autopilot. There was three events today at six. I prayed. <laughs> like, like, literally, I prayed. Like, that was just how, that's just how my mind was. I was like, I'm going to pray. And so, faith is something I learned that I have to constantly grow. Faith is also something that I learned to grow with someone. And... I am blessed to be able to grow this faith with this one boy right here. Oh. <laughs> I think he's like coming. Yeah, but <laughs> I tried to give you a bumper, you know, you know, you know, you brace yourself, yeah. But yeah, um, faith has brought me so many places. Um, that the album I have been making, I started a year and a, a year and like two, three months ago, mm -hmm. and I started recording during like spring break. Uh, that was faith because I didn't know when I was going to start recording because I didn't have any time. I recorded most of the songs during spring break, which is insane because there's 17 songs on this thing. And 
and to do it within like 10 days is crazy to me because I do the mixing, the mastering, mm-hmm. all that, all that. I, I do everything but don't make a beat. So faith really allowed me to move around in spaces and rely on him to be able to help me finish this thing. No matter what was gonna happen, no matter what was what I was going through, I knew he was gonna help me finish it. I knew he was gonna help me get through something that I didn't know how to get through. So, since I understood that, I grew my faith immensely. Mm-hmm. And there was times where I wanted to be like, okay, let me take charge and let me do this, that, and the third. And then I went to my left or looked to my right. And then this was right here telling me like, yo, let's lean on God. Like, like let's lean on God. Before we lean on anything else, like, let's lean on men. And Bill Boy Roy is something that I learned from in the Bible, actually. And it's the well of him that lives and sees with me. Oh, one more time, one more time. One the time. well that lives and sees with me. Yeah, the well oh, of that him lives that lives and sees with me. That. Yeah, and so basically it's from Jacob when he first saw, or when he first was walking in the desert and God was like, uh, keep walking, <laughs> keep moving. Mm-hmm. And Jacob's just walking and then like everybody's seizing him, everybody's talking to him like, where are you going? Like this, this, this ground doesn't do anything. It doesn't produce any water. <laughs> this water like like you know what I'm saying like he does it he does what God tells him to do he digs and there's water right. so and he names it Beer Lahoy Roy and so I really like the name because it was like he lead, he led him into this barren place and God produces mm-hmm. where there was nothing that was supposed to be there God produced and I think that that's just like a story within my life like where there was supposed to be nothing God made the way and made it happen to immense proportions. And so that's why I named it Real Hoy Roy. And it's just a symbol of like how beautiful he's made my music and me and everything. Sorry. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Good, whatever you are. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Let's talk about it though. Cool. All right, so. As a- <laughs> So, so, the real reason we brought you up. <laughs> Represent the <laughs> life. So, you were telling me uh, pretty much like how a lot of the things that you were doing. I thought I was like, I'm not gonna look at it. I appreciate it. A lot of things that you were doing, like, you know, with the music, with the clothes, with the yeah. possible with our joy. Yeah. So, talk to both of y'all, talk to me about how it's been working together. You know, being in a relationship and also like, you know, just the inspiration that y'all give each other. Yeah. You know, when it comes to like just having different ideas and different perspectives on things. Ladies first. <laughs> I mean, I would definitely say it's been a pleasure. Like, I feel like working with them, like, and I feel like Uh, coming up on April 30th. 
I don't put that communication with him. I'm like, something else. I don't mean to just like drop the bomb. But <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's the question that needs to be asked. Hey, like, hey, I want some okay. communication. Can you I say something? Yeah, you can go for it. So, uh, she's helped me with all big concerts, right? Uh huh. And so, I think it was the first one we were doing. Uber excited. I'm uber excited. Uh -huh. And so, we're talking. And each time we're talking, I'm talking to her about the concert. I'm talking to her about the concert. And each time, like, she's just like, okay, but let's, like, change the subject. Right. And so, basically, <laughs> I put her in this box of, like, manager. And, like, just dismiss the fact of the girlfriend, but, Jeez. which was terrible. I don't recommend this to anybody. <laughs> it won't make a happy girlfriend. <laughs> so, <laughs> I definitely think communication is beautiful because... When I did that, she communicated that I was like, yo, mm -hmm. what's what's happening? Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't think you realize, like, this is more. <laughs> There's more than this. <laughs> <laughs> so. I mean, I will say, though, like, it is nice to see how passionate he truly is about music. Like, that's one of the mm -hmm. things that I like about him. And, like, even with, like, the band and stuff, we're practicing. We're, like, pausing. They're still playing their instruments. <laughs> It's like, wow, you guys really love this so much that you're still going. Because it's like, I, I would have stopped. <laughs> like, if I don't have to play, I'm not playing. But, like, they really are, like, super passionate about it. So it's really nice seeing all that going. But on the communication piece, communication has definitely been, like, a really important part of curating the concert. Just because there's so many things to do. Yes. And even so, when we do have conversations about the concert, I'm like, okay, but we still need this, 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 and this. Mm -hmm. And like, there's a list every single time, no yeah. matter how close you are to the show. Mm -hmm. It seems kind of like crazy, but. Yeah, it's a funny it one. It's one of those things that you just climb up the mountain, but when you're doing it with somebody, especially somebody that you love, uh -huh. bro, it's unbeatable. Like, literally, so you're, enjoying, you're enjoying the yeah. journey. Like, I'm literally like having so much fun doing yeah. this with her. And, Absolutely. Man, if I can take it off the pre-med track and get famous, that's that's gonna be like, that's that's right. Right. it's already an atmosphere. You know what I'm saying? She'd be surgical with the material stuff, you know? Mm -hmm. you know we and put it in he always wants to like put me in here. He put me in this. I wasn't exactly. ready to be in this. Exactly. He's always trying to like express how appreciative he is of me. That's so beautiful. like. Toby, she's gonna save your life one day. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Toby and Nigway take. Yeah, Toby and that. If I'm there, bro. It's Brill and Julie. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? If I'm there, bro, she's there. Photo shoot, get me in that joint, she's there. Like, uh -huh. any type of thing, bro. I want her on my website, I want her on my page, I want her everywhere. <laughs> like, she gonna, you gonna, I'm gonna be seen when she's seen. Like, you know what I'm saying? And when she's seen, I'm seen. <laughs> 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 yeah, for sure, man. So what can we look forward to, like, you know, in regards to the concert, clothing, even this album, like, you know, what else can we look for from y'all? Man, this concert, I'm going to say this is a very common way. This concert is going to be amazing. This concert, I'm praying somebody comes in and comes out a different person, looking mm -hmm. differently upon their life. I'm really not, like, focused too much. I'm focused OD on the music just because, like, I'm a music person. I'm trying to hit a soul, like, um, I'm really trying to, like, make sure that people feel what I'm saying, people feel what I'm doing, and people hear what I'm, like, trying to emulate in this sound, like, I want you to walk out there and see God in a different perspective, in a way that you never saw him. If I can say one thing, and I was going to talk about the dad thing, so basically, I got baptized January 4th, ENC, I've been to... That's every nation campus is a group. Shout out to ENC too. Shout out to ENC. You know, y'all ain't me. But yeah, y'all are tough. And so I've been to two ENC meetings before. The first one I didn't like. I left. I don't really care for this. None of that. All that rah rah stuff, you know. And so went to the big festival. Went to the big conference. And so I got baptized there. A guy named CJ. We get to talking after I get baptized. I never told him that I did not have a father growing up. This man's first statement was like, I feel like you're looking for a father figure in God, and God wants to be a father figure for you. Wow. And when I tell you that was, wow. like, when I tell you wow. miraculous things happen when you trust, and I just, I'm not even trying to like push the narrative. Like, oh yeah, God is everything you need. 
All I need you to see is that there can be a relationship with God. That's the first step I want. And that's what I want people to get from my music. I want to be the first building block to that. And wherever it takes you, I hope it takes you closer to God. And so this concert is gonna have a band. It's gonna have me. Then it's gonna have her. Then it's gonna have me. And it's also gonna have visitors. But then it's gonna mostly have me. And it's gonna have other performers, which is tough. We got some people from Howard. We got some people from Georgetown. The people from Georgetown, a guy named Q Lander. And this guy named Brillo Bonte. He's tough. Brillo Bonte? Oh, that's me. Um, then we got June. Then we got Zuri. Then we got Zay. He, he's not at school right now. He's doing his thing, his music thing. He, uh, 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 you know. But then you got me, you know. Come the ball back to me. He's not the same. I want you all to enjoy this thing that I'm creating, and I hope that y'all get there. April 30th, 530 on the dot. 530 on the dot. I'm starting to boom, boom, bow. It's not playing. Yeah, I heard it. That's it, man. Well, it was beautiful having both of y'all here, man. Thank you. Let's hear y'all's testimonies. Let's hear y'all's stories. And man, shouts out Creative Grounds. Shouts out for Vision LLC. Shouts out for Beyond, man. We out. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the love. Absolutely. Dude, this is amazing, man. Absolutely. Even from the festival, like, yo, to be able to be put on the stage in front of people that I, I didn't even be, I wasn't even at the school. I never knew what that school looked like. And my first time to be there, to be on a stage and close for somebody, <laughs> to close for somebody. Yeah, that is crazy. Hey, put me on, put me on. Like, yeah. like, for real, for real. Hey, put that on the tab. But it's <laughs> but yeah, for sure, bro. That's love, man. I hope y'all keep on doing your thing and know that God is watching and God is blessing and anointing. Keep going. All the love. Bye. 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 Bye.